welcome to episode number 51 of TFYLP. I am Weird Wolf along with uh, the usual crew, um, minus a few people that could not be with us tonight. Uh, our first uh, introduction will be Insane Galvatron. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hugging his Galvatron toy in his picture. Isn't that so lovely? That's a really old picture. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Natsume Ryu. Hello, everybody. And also Guard Convoy. Hello, everybody. <laughs> um, well, uh, we got to apologize a little bit for our video quality uh, quality tonight. Uh, since Insane Galvatron and I both broadcast from the same location, and also Natsume and Guard Convoy are broadcasting from the same location, so our uh, broadcast pipe is a little bit constricted today, so... Uh, if if the video is a little that's bit blurry, said. that's why. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that is what so she I'm said. I'm wondering sure. because I don't know what the is my video showing up okay. Uh, you're quite blurry, and even mine is a little bit blurry. So uh, okay, well, mine's always blurry. <laughs> I got you all beat. I ain't got no video. Yeah. Um, but uh, if you're listening to us live on YouTube, uh, you can post your comments or questions in the uh, in the comment and. Uh, comment box on the YouTube uh, stream. Uh, we will try to get to your questions or comments uh, if we get a, a pertinent place in the show where it might be uh, uh, pertaining to what we're talking about. Um, <clears throat> we uh, we just got last week uh, we put up episode 50 so we have finally reached 50 episodes of Geek Existence Transformers and uh, TFYLP as it became and uh, this is kind of kicking off uh, the next 50 episodes hopefully uh, we'll uh, get it started with our Ouch My Wallet segment and uh, we'll kick it off with ladies first uh, Natsume do you have anything you want to talk to us about? I have one thing, and in retrospect, I shouldn't have bought it because I still can't afford it, but I found it, and I needed to buy it, and that is a retail Bruticus. I found all five members of the group, and I just I couldn't let it pass. <laughs> so I now have that. Um, unfortunately, I didn't bring him with me because I didn't want to lose him at Card Convoy's house because you can see all his toys in the back. There's a lot more stuff on the floor that you can't see, and I didn't want to lose anything. <laughs> he would just blend oh. in with his toys and then all of a sudden Guard Convoy would have a new Bruticus <laughs> it's well, like where did this come from <laughs> uh, Guard Convoy you want to tell us a little bit about what you got uh, it's been a while since I've been on so I'll run through the main things real quick I got the Generation 2 Bruticus of course Fantastic mold. Um, I got Cards Against Humanity expansions one and two. Alternative Die Atlas. An anime on Blu ray that I've been hunting for a long time, Clemad. And then the last main thing I'm going to bring up is a toy I've wanted since my whole childhood. It's pretty much a childhood dream come true. Strawberry Shortcake. The s Cabbage Patch oh. Kids. The Super Robot Chigokin <laughs> Daijujin, or as Americans know it, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Megazord. This mm -hmm. figure is ungodly amazing. It's I own one other Super Robot Chigokin, the Shinkin, or the Samurai Megazord, and this one blows it out of the water. Mm. And, oh, last one. I finally got my hands on one, but the Marvel Legends Wave 1 Ghost Rider. But he's, this is why he's, he's blue. Yeah. It's he's the white hot. blue release one. But and he's this blue. This figure is on red red line. And yellow. Well, no, fire really is only fire. red There's so long fire. as it's cold fire. Yeah, really hot fire. Hot fire is blue. white. He's, he's, he's he is propane Ghost Rider. Totally. Yeah, a friend, uh, Search Man DS of uh, TFW, hooked me up with this after I'd hunted for months and never could find one. 
So now I Ain't finally have here. that one. Yeah. Also, I got more Power Ranger stuff and some Gundam model kits from G Gundam, but other than that, nothing else since Masterpiece Optimus Prime didn't arrive today. Hmm. Yeah, mine's still in layaway. I need to go pick that up here before the next couple weeks because that's the long as I have to uh, to get it. Um, well, I'll, I know Insane Galvatron's got a quite lengthy uh, out of my wallet, so I'll uh, I'll get to mine because it's kind of short. Um, I what picked, she said. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, I know that they're becoming a little bit more uh, plentiful, but. Uh, I, I just absolutely had them have the mold because out of all the uh, Transformers Prime toys, it is probably one of the most interesting in my opinion. And I finally found one in the store, and I hid it until I could afford it. But I picked up uh, the Transformers Prime uh, R.I.D. Viacon, and I really, really, really dig this guy. Um, he uh, got a really fun transformation, and he just looks so cool. Uh, in in both modes, yeah, I love the Batmobile look of uh, of his car mode, and uh, I uh, like Guard Convoy. I also picked up G two Bruticus uh, from Amazon. Bruticus, uh, yeah, Bruticus. Uh, due to some uh, uh, issues, I thought that I wasn't going to be getting this figure, but uh, lo and behold, I showed up. Or, well, I got the email, and uh, the next day he showed up on the doorstep, and well, there he is. Yay! He is quite awesome. Uh, I haven't even actually taken him apart yet and transformed the individual components because I just love the way he looks like that. But, uh, yeah. We'll talk a little bit more about him because I think each one of us got him. So uh, we'll talk a little bit more about him here uh, in a little bit. Uh, in St. Galvatron, you want to go with your Ouch My Wallet? I won't mention everything I got because I've only been on the show once since Slagacon, and that was for the Gary Talk episode because we didn't do Ouch My Wallets. So my haul was all the way back to there, and I've sold a lot of stuff and reinvested that money back into my section, bought a lot. So uh, I'll just kind of quickly run through some of the high points. Uh, there at Slagacon, I picked up a whole whack of Action Masters. Uh, Mega Toy Fan had a booth there, and they bought somebody's collection and a bunch of really mint Action Masters. And they were like 10 to $15 each, so I just scooped up a whole bunch of those. Got all three of the Fire Cons. I uh, got uh, Grotusk and Double Cross. Uh, and then I also picked up a couple third-party toys, uh, Green Giant, and uh, who is awesome, by the way. Mm -hmm. I've seen Drawn's Hercules, and i got to say I, I, Green Giant is as much better as I thought he would be, in my opinion. Um, and then I also picked up the Photron, uh, which was the DSLR camera uh, robot version of like Reflector. Uh, I think the camera mode looks really good. Uh, it's the fit and finish is not as good on these guys as on Hercules. I really kind of disappointed that uh, TF Club did do a better job with that toy, but looks good as a camera, so I like it. Um, that's that's all the big stuff I got from Slagacon. Afterwards, um, I was on my way to Pennsylvania a few weeks ago, uh, well actually about four weeks ago, and stopped at a Toys R Us in West Virginia on the way through, and lo and behold, Masterpiece Optimus Prime was there, so I picked him up. Um, and then I bought some stuff on eBay. I got a uh, Darkwind and Dreadwing, or Darkwing and Dreadwind. I can never keep their names straight. They've changed them so much. Uh, G1 Toys, 100% complete. Um, picked up a Wave Rider off eBay, 100% uh, complete. And then some deals I made on the boards and other places. I picked up some Brave Toys. I got uh, the Seven Changer, who, once I learned about this toy, I had to have it. It's very much in the same vein as like uh, Six Shot and uh, Quick Switch. Great toy. Um, also picked up the Brave uh, Land Bison and Might Game. Both really good. Um, then I picked up a, a knockoff Star Saber from the same seller that sold me the other uh, Brave toys. I, I wasn't expecting like you know a small one or something, but no, this thing is full size. And it's really good quality for a knockoff. This is gonna be one of the best knockoffs I've ever owned. I mean, it's like having the real Star Saber, except it only cost me 15 bucks. Uh, and then, of course, like everybody else, I picked up uh, a couple of Bruticais. I had uh, originally planned to only get the G2 Bruticus because the price was lower. $15 a piece for the Deluxes now. The retail release was going to be 75 G2 was 60 uh, But then Hasbro Toy Shop had a deal uh, where it was 20% off and free shipping, which I did the math. That meant I could get the retail version for 60 So I got that, canceled the G2 version, 
Uh, and then Duran got his G2 version in. I was looking at it. It looked really cool, so I went online and ordered me one. So I now have Dudicus and Frudicus. Dudicus. I actually forgot about something that uh, that I picked up uh, in the last few weeks. I didn't mention it the other day, but uh, uh, I know. Uh, which one is that you have there, Guard Convoy? Uh, it's a Megazord. Oh, nobody cares about those. Anyway, um... <laughs> look at it. Amen. <laughs> but uh, uh, when uh, when uh, Insane Galvatron mentioned about uh, his Braves, I, I picked up uh, Gal Gygar, uh the first season on uh, DVD. Uh, this is a season that's actually uh, dubbed, uh, not just subbed. So you can actually watch uh, a Brave series in English. And uh, even though it kind of falls into the uh, Monster of the Week top uh, genre. Um, it's actually a pretty good show. Um, it's, you know, uh, it kind of goes into a little bit of detail of each uh, uh, each plot point uh, every episode, but then it falls back into the Monster of the Week thing. And um, But the key, uh, the, uh, the key thing here is that it's big robots, from outer space that fight each other, and you can't ask for more than that. So, um, yeah, hot those anime are girls. really awesome. Yeah, and hot anime girls. Well, that's what you can ask for. They're not really in there, but you yeah. can ask for those. Um, the only thing that makes it, uh, and and another thing that makes it great is that there's no Luca in this. It, it's it's just absolutely hey, awesome. Hey, hey, hey. So, I was trying to bring out a Galgagar tool I got, but for that no. Uh, what I what was that? I bought a Galgagar Microman figure the other day, but I'm not going to go get it now. Well, you need to go get it, to, or you're fired. I'm not even going to tell you what it is. I'm not even going to tell you what it is. <laughs> That's all right, because our listeners don't care what you had anyway. Yeah. I'll go I get it. I kid, I kid. <laughs> Y'all keep talking. Um, Saying Galvatron, is there anything else that you picked uh, up? There probably is, but nothing big I can remember. That's, that's all the high points. All that's what she that. said. That was all the, 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 the main things I got that I felt were important enough to actually remember. Uh, I did pick up some Hot Wheels the other day, if that counts. I got a couple oh. more Lamborghinis and a uh, 85 IROC G28. Hmm, very nice. Since I can't afford the real ones, I'll get the ones I can roll around on my desk. Yeah, kind of like, uh, like these right here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got another Aventador and a Gallardo. Let's see my yeah, let's see here. We got the. Uh, That's the Gallardo. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember which one this one is. This was the uh, Aventador. Yeah. So I need yeah. to bust out my box full of Hot Wheels. Okay. Ooh. Wait, there was one more thing I got. I just remembered it was kind of a big. I just got it just the other day. That's why I forgot to mention it. The um, CM's Corp uh, Genrai to go along with my Minerva that I picked up months and months and months ago. Haven't even opened him yet, but he came just the other day. Huh. I, uh, still, still, I know I, I was mentioning to you a while ago about that, but the uh, uh, the fact that they released a, what's essentially a big doll of uh, of a couple master action figure, uh, a couple dolls of some. Uh, um, you know, basically just the Power Masters, you know, it, it, it kind of sucks that, that they couldn't get a license to do a whole figure of the actual character that they go well, with. Well, Minerva's the headmaster. She wasn't Power Master. Yeah. Yeah, I bet she's the headmaster. Yeah. Norco's okay, now, disappointed in you, Geron. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm a little so, bit disturbed see, that he's playing with his dolls now. Guard Convoy camera. also locks scenes, Corp. Action yeah. figures. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing figure, amazing figure. And uh, you know, I just I just realized something. Uh, it's it's quite evident that uh, Natsume is uh, actually hard at work on something. You want to uh, before we go on, uh, you want to tell people what you're what you're actually doing there, while they can actually see what you're doing. Uh, sure. I actually uh, I'm actually making the backpack for Guard Convoy here. It's uh, the back of. Garon Logan's back, I guess. It's his upper back. And I'll show it to you in just a second. I'll, I'll do a screen share because I actually have the 3D file on here so you guys can look at it. Um, but yeah, this is 
I have all of these. Let me actually go ahead and pick up in my thing here so you guys can see. Eh, attached things. There's pieces all over the floor around me that I'm building. So that's all of that stuff. Let me go ahead and get out of here. Go in here and open up the chest. Let me do a screen show real quick. If I figure out how to make it work. Um, this thing right here. Show that. Or what so is this and big I can red show thing right here is what you see. Of the completed parts we got. You can see them from there. Hmm. All I see is a bed post. Oh, there we go. Let me click on that. Hold on. Uh, it's boxes on a bed. Oh, okay, I see the pieces there. Yeah, it's a cardboard costume. <clears throat> no, he's, he's going as a bum. I'm going as a giant freaking robot. It's glorious. <laughs> um. So, uh, so that's me. Uh, this this costume that you're making for uh, guard convoy, what, what uh, what's it made of specifically? Is it like all cardboard or is it? This is uh, because if it, it would be cardboard if I was wearing it because I don't have any money. Um, since he has money, um, he's buying the materials and we are using fun foam. Uh, it's called foamies for this stuff. Here's the tag for it. It's basically cross-linked polyethylene. It's a fancy term for the chemical makeup of this type of foam. It's a closed cell foam, so it's very springy and very tough, but still very soft and flexible. <laughs> and I take it and I build it into the shape. I hot glue stuff together. You can see, I don't know, it's hard to see some of the seams, especially with the camera quality, but yeah, I like basically I just glue. make a bunch of seams and glue stuff together. Then we seal it with the Mod Podge so it's no longer soft on the outside. It actually has a shell, and then we can hit that, and you can see the beauty over there of the leg. Yeah, hmm. I like hot glue. I have a t-shirt that says no fat glue. And that's the leg part right there? The guards hold yeah, up? Yes. And yes, that's be seven the painted, foot tall in this thing. shiny pretty finished product. I'm not going to uh, be able to walk through doors in this thing. You know, what would be really... He has really, very large shoulders. What would, what would be really cool is uh, once that costume is finished, before you take any pictures of it online or uh, or any video, post any video, why don't you debut it right here on the show? Wouldn't that be kind of cool? And yeah, broadcast I'll see what I can do. Yeah, Maybe broadcast it and... Uh, I can be all Yeah. We'll have um, to drag him over to my house. Uh, we'll wrap up our Ouch My Wallet segment here. Um, but uh, before we do that, I want to mention our sponsor, uh, Captured Prey. Uh, CapturedPrey.com, great toys, great prices, great service. CapturedPrey.com. Uh, let's talk a little bit about Generation 2 Fall of Cybertron Bruticus. Uh, now, we've all four on the show tonight got this mold. Uh, what is your initial reaction to this figure? Uh, let's go with Gar Convoy. What, what do you think of uh, uh, Fall of Cybertron? When we first got original pictures of it, I thought it looked neat. It was kind of oddly proportioned, but it looked like a fun toy. So in person at BotCon, it looked good. Pictures came out, it still looked good. Finally having this figure in hand, I'm, I like it better than I thought I would. Yeah, once I got the arms, as you can see it, shorter the way I wanted it, it looks perfect to me. Onslaught, as Onslaught's easily the weakest, as in robot mode and vehicle mode, he is pretty bad. But he makes up for him combined with But over, overall, I like the whole set, and Vortex is the best mold of the entire set to me. I love that figure. But... Dudicus is a win, if I had to say. That's my final thoughts. 
see, I kind of had the opposite reaction. I saw the pictures online. I thought it looked like crap. Uh, and it wasn't until uh, even at BotCon, I thought it looked a little better in the case, but still wasn't crazy about it with the gorilla arms and everything. Picked it up on a whim just because I thought, okay, I want to give this Hasbro's the first attempt at a five unique mold combiner in a while with a shot. I always thought that Onslaught looked too small as the torso, that the arms and legs are so big it just looked wrong. It should have been a Voyager, I thought. But once I got the thing in hand, it's like like one of those toys that in pictures it looks awkward, but in hand it looks all right. Uh, especially once I mistransformed like you did uh, Vortex and Brawl uh, or Vortex and Blast Off to get uh, you know the, the proportions a little better in the arms, the toy actually looks looks pretty good. I think what impressed me the most that completely won me over was just how fun they are to fiddle with. Um, mm -hmm. Now while Onslaught may not look the best in robot and vehicle mode, he I find him just as fun to transform as the others. I mean, I've probably taken my Fruticus apart and transformed each limb and then transformed them back and reassembled them probably ten times since I've had the toy. It's just fun to fiddle with. Oh, yeah. It, it's a very fun figure. And I suggest that anyone can get a hold of one for a reasonable price to go for it because it's worth checking out. Well, I, I kind of like the fact that the, uh, the, the G2 version of it, which comes in like a, this fantastic box... Um, I mean, it's very. G it's a gorgeous G two box. I almost didn't want to open it, and no. if I could afford to, I'd totally get one just to keep sealed. You said it uh, comes in a fantastic box. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. Isn't that that is what she said? <laughs> um, but me personally, uh, the figure. While I haven't had time to actually look at each figure individually uh, as a component uh, combined, I think they're great. Uh, he does have the monkey arm effect, but unlike the vast majority of people, I don't feel compelled to uh, alternate transformate uh, alternate transform his arms to where they're shorter or more proportionate. I kind of like the default uh, come as come as a, as you are uh, look to him. I don't mind the the big gorilla arms to him. I mean, he is a super robot. You know, maybe that's just one of his features, and I, I don't, I don't mind that. Uh, I love the posability of he him, although to reach down to the ground and pick up all the small people. Yeah, um, although uh, he's a bit limited in some of his articulation. He's got a lot mm -hmm. more articulation that I would expect for a combiner uh, that is uh, of, uh, you know, that has been released by Hasbro because. You know, we've we've talked about it before. You know, third parties they can release you know these virtual masterpieces of figures and not worry about uh, you know we can still get fully articulated figures. They just don't have to worry about cutting back on costs, cutting out articulation and everything like that. Hasbro does have to worry about that, uh, and you know I, I'm still really uh, really pleased with the amount of articulation that was retained uh, in this figure uh, and I'm, I'm unlike a lot of a vast majority of the fandom who's giving this figure down the road uh, I'm one of those that that is applauding Hasbro for actually doing this figure and and doing such a great job on it in my opinion I, I hope we get more I just wish the quality was a little bit better as far as you know thickness of the plastic. I mean, it's it's very cheap feeling um, as compared to older uh, transformers and uh, current third party stuff. But uh, such is the way our economy is, and uh, you know they've got to uh, cut back on costs. So uh, that's that's my big long review of it. Uh, anybody else have any further th thoughts on uh, the Bruticus mold? Yes, just think about it. At the end of the day, it's five deluxes made by Hasbro that are quad changers because they can scramble city. Just the engineering alone and with today's economy they achieved with this figure, it impresses me unbelievably. So it's a really fun set. Sure, the, yes, the, it, normally I just ignore people saying the plastic feels cheaper, but for once I agree it does feel a little bit cheaper, but Overall, it's still a really good set, and it's worth picking up. Hmm. Uh, speaking of combiners, I just noticed on the uh, Twitter feed our uh, sponsor, Captured Prey Toy, uh, CapturePrey.com, uh, the Make Toys Mobane Chaos Paladin 
which is the uh, the centerpiece for the Iron Army sets. Uh, I'll take that back. No, it is the uh, uh, the. Fall uh, I think it's the. Yeah, the it's the Fallen. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I take that back. Uh, it is the Fallen. Uh, I, I just pulled up the pictures of it just now. Um, oh, that looks good. It is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Pre-order price at CapturePrey.com is $105. Uh, it's scheduled release is the first quarter of 2013. Oh, wow. uh, so check it out. And uh, uh, it's it's really really awesome. Yeah. Uh, and if you're if you're if you like the comic version of the Fallen now, uh, I I don't know if you're if you're seeing this live on the YouTube uh, on the YouTube feed or if you're listening to this on the podcast. If you're listening to it on the recorded version, uh, just go to CaptureProy.com and look up the Mobane Chaos Paladin, and uh, uh, you'll see the pictures of it. But this uh, this figure looks a lot like the uh, the comic version of the Fallen. Uh, that we're familiar with, um, not the uh, Revenge of the Fallen. Fallen that kind of looked like a, a witch doctor or whatever. Um, what else do we want to talk about here? Um, oh, I, I, I do also want to mention. <laughs> yeah, I don't think not to make a turn. Well, uh, we'll, we'll get there. I do want to say that uh, um, uh, if you're listening to the podcast on the recorded version. Uh, please go to our forums on geekexistence.com slash forums and, uh, and post your questions in the, either the Transformers forum or the uh, Transformers for your listening pleasure forum. Uh, and uh, we'll try to get to your questions on the, uh, on the air. And uh, if you are mentioned on the show, then uh, uh, we may try to get you something. I don't know. Uh, we're, we're working on some, uh, some giveaways. Uh, I do want to announce that right now. Um, hopefully, we'll announce one before Christmas. Uh, I am talking with uh, our sponsor, uh, Orson at Captured Prey, and uh, we're going to try to get something really nice together for a Christmas giveaway here on TFYLP. So stay tuned for more of that. Uh, Natsume, you want to continue with uh, your thoughts on Bruticus? Yes. Well, I was uh, one of the people in the boat. I was sort of... I wasn't very positive or negative about the pictures we saw of it because, of course, Hasbro's history with taking pictures of their, their stuff. But uh, as time went on, I became a little bit discouraged. And um, when we got to finally see him at BotCon, I was just sort of like, you know, sort of meh. I took tons of photos of him, of him at BotCon. And I certainly I came to the point where I was like, you know what, it's not worth the price. Um, and so at that point, I actually wanted the New York Comic Con one, and then found out it was a hundred dollars. Said I can't afford that. That's that was at the very top of what I was willing to pay, and I said no. You know what? I'm just not going to bail for that. Um, and then, like I said, I when I saw them on the shelf, the pegs, and I saw them all there, and I saw what colors they were in person. Um, not the, I guess, test painted ones like we saw at Botcon. I was actually. I just really, really wanted it. I sprung for it, and I'm really happy that I got it, even though I couldn't afford it. <laughs> um, I am very happy with the figures so far. The only ones I haven't finished fully transforming are Onslaught. I haven't put them into um, car mode yet, because everybody else, you pretty much have to put in the car mode to get them into limb mode, except for Onslaught. Um, uh, unlike Guard Convoy, he thinks that Vortex is the best. I actually think he's probably one of the worst molds of the of the five of them. And uh, I actually think either probably Swindle or Brawl is one of the best. I like Swindle. I, I have my issue with Brawl just because Brawl I'm trying, to, exactly what I'm trying to put Brawl in his tank mode right now. Um, yeah, his shoulders in robot mode are very limited in their range. I just I think Swindle yep. is probably the best. I, he's, he's got his posability isn't really restricted, and he's got a very imposing look. Yeah, initially I wasn't. I thought Swindle was actually one of the worst looking because he looks so hollow from the back, which a lot of them have that look to them. But I, at the time, I thought Swindle was the worst, and now I think that he's one of the best just playing with. Um, yeah, I don't look at him from but behind. But I think so Brawl's tank mode is, is fantastic. Is that Brawl's tank mode there? Am I, do I have it right? Can you tell? Um, the the thing uh, is backwards. Turn, turn the turret around. is backwards. The turret yeah. is backwards. The turret needs to like clip yeah. up and then it kind of. There you go. There you go. There you go. Kind of like that. So that's right. Yes. Yep. Huh. That is pretty cool. 
kind of a space space tank then. Yeah, it's very warm yep, for and he looks space gorgeous. Space tank. The space tank. Tanks in yeah. space. I'm going. I know to, a lot uh, of people were complaining about like uh, Articus's limited possibility, but I actually got mine in a pose on one foot, where it looks like he's sort of like stepping over some DVDs on my desk, and he's like walking. <laughs> It looks really cool, and I haven't touched him since I put him in that pose because I love it so much. So I'm I'm one of those people who's actually really pleased with it. Okay, I his... don't like the mismatched fist. I think every single one of us has loved it so far. <laughs> um, like Blastoff has a purple fist, where the hands and the other three limbs, uh, they're black. And then of course, yep. you know, Vortex has that you know like he's waving at you, hello. You know, hand instead of a fist. I mean, just mm. all needed was just one, was like one chop. joint in the knuckles, one joint in the knuckles to bend those fingers a little bit. Well, but, but uh, so you can swap arms. Yeah, yeah, you can switch it to the other side, but That's I mean, the, the joint thing. make a joint that bends it's... both ways. One more joint in the hand is all it needed. You could bend the fingers one way. Yeah, or the that would have been a good one. So then yeah. you could go like this. <laughs> or do you want him to go like this? Yeah, like that. That way you can just kind of give a little curve to the fingers. Okay. So it doesn't then you can like go both ways. Chop. Yeah. Well, no, because you flip the thumb over for the other arm. Hand. But, but I, I do it. like, I do like though with that flat hand like that. I, I, you can get Bruticus in a pose where he's like down on one knee, and then you can have him like twist him a little and put that arm down, so it's like he's trying to scoop something up. Oh! Like here, Star Scream, get in my hand. <laughs> you get world's smallest Transformers figures and get Star get world's smallest Star Scream put in his hand. Or Micro Master Big Daddy. The the bad part is I plan to uh, get the Wreckers version as well because of the new heads. I'm okay now. I'm does, yep. it, does Brawl's head like like stay up? What what am no, I doing? No, it pushes wrong down in his chest. I know, but I mean it's just like yeah. it doesn't want to stay up. From my, on my oh, they make mine a little blue for that. It doesn't when I first got mine, mine was only halfway up. Yeah, mine is like really, really loose. I'm they they make a blue peel for that, Drawn. Yes, I know. <laughs> I am getting rather old. With this. It should it should click into place like uh, I think Swindles does, where it sort of pops up and then has a little. Well, I'm trying to get him to. And what's really funny is Drawn's talking about not being able to get it to stay up, but while he's looking down and fiddling. <laughs> Well, on top of that, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, Brawl, he's, he's kind of got a, uh, um, let's see here, get his feet flipped down here. Tiny feet. Yeah, that was yeah, that's probably feet. my biggest problem with and, and, and look, but they're actually fairly accurate besides the Look at the his size. connector. He's got, he's got a connector cock. <laughs> I fold it up like the other way so it sticks out the back so it looks like a connector anus. That's what he's supposed to do, <laughs> but... But, but look at the, look at this look at this I mean he's 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 got he, he's got a cock right actually here. it's coming from his rear end it's like his colonoscopy didn't go too well yeah well he's just the doctor pulled the he's pulled the well thing hung. out too quick yeah okay oh what, they call a, what they call it, a pink sock oh my gosh bra has a pink sock you got a pink oh don't Google that please don't not with safe search off um okay now I'm trying to get his head to stay up. <laughs> and it will not. It will not click in. Paul doesn't like you. It's that simple. He's a turtle. Okay. That's okay. your problem. I think I got it. Now, He's with Gundam. His, well, his feet want to keep wanting to fly up there too. Now is really that right? you have is a lot that right? with yours. Is that right? Just about yeah. Just about what? What am I doing wrong? I have no instructions here. I think that I'm there's looking something by. on the hips. The yeah, hips the wit- I they, they, push up the hips work. they kind of push up in or something. But I, I gave up trying to figure out how those hips work. It's weird. I think there's something about they push in or pull out yeah, in one mode or the other, and I can never remember. I got mine in robot mode package. I just leave Miserable. them pushing all the time. Mm-hmm. I kind of like the uh, kind of like the way he looks there. Well, as we go on uh, in the podcast, I'll kind of fiddle with the uh, individual robot modes and and uh, post my... Quick, Guard Convoy, can I borrow yours so I can fiddle with it? I'll show them what it looks like, what it's supposed to look like. Don't say no. Well, Never say no when a woman wants to fiddle with your things. 
I'll go in there real quick. Is it all right if I detach? Sure. All right, I'm going to come yeah. in there. Bow, chicka, wow, wow. All righty. Uh, wow, wow. <laughs> that'll conclude our Out to My Wallet segment. Uh, let's move on to our uh, uh, In the News. Uh, we will not have a Transformers Prime uh, episode discussion <laughs> in this. No, uh, you're you're thinking Energon. Um, but, no, uh, Energon is better. What are you talking about? Are you smoking? But anyway, uh, we'll get Hi. on to our news segment. Uh, who wants to talk about the TCC magazine um, announcement? Uh, in Saint Galvatron? Yeah, basically, uh, they made an announcement last. I think it was Tuesday. They said tomorrow we're going to make a big announcement, and it's like really an announcement for an announcement. And the bad part is the announcement didn't even come on Wednesday. The next day, like I said, it would. It didn't come out until today. Um, and the big announcement was that they're going to take something that's already been done and do it with a little extra. Um, the first couple years of their comic have already been collected in a trade paperback, uh, but now they've announced that they're going to do the first uh, the first year of Club Magazines with a comic, plus all the other stuff that nobody ever reads, and they're going to collect it all together, and you can buy it for 20 bucks. And my thought is, wow, that's the most expensive roll of toilet paper I would ever purchase if I were to buy it. Can you tell I'm not a fan of fiction? Yeah. Um, I, I actually saw the uh, uh, the tweet that they had uh, last week. It was the uh, uh, basically saying that they had an announcement tomorrow, and then, like you said, uh, the next day there was no announcement. You know, it you know it just kept going and going. And I made some uh, kind of mocking tweets after that because. I don't know about you, but I kind of find it unprofessional for a for a organization such as the TF Club or Transformers Club uh, to uh, to do something like that. You know, I mean, you're you're doing something um, that is supposed to be the service for the fans, and then you do you just kind of blow it off. You know, it's like with no explanation. Well, it's, it's just unprofessional to have an announcement of an announcement anyway. Yeah, just make the announcement. Um. I mean, I can see a teaser, but that was no teaser. It's just an announcement for an announcement. But at the same time, uh, what if this is exactly what they they were talking about? Um, yeah, I, I'm not that enthused by it. I, l honestly, the the Collectors Club magazine is probably the least important thing in the club to me. Uh, I think very very seldomly do I actually read anything in it. If they have an article that the, that is uh, that is somewhat interesting, like uh, uh, you know talking about you know something behind the scenes, I can't remember what it was that they had uh, that that I found interesting. But it was like one article out of like like how many years has the pub uh, the fun fun pub had it? I just I just didn't care for. I don't care for it at all. And Most of the time, they try to break news. It's always news we've already gotten online anyway. That's the problem. Yeah. You, you can't get a print format to stay on top of news as fast as the internet. Yeah, and I think they're having a hard time getting over that fact too. They're not. The, the club is not exactly known for staying current with the times. Um, yeah, they only got online registration a couple of years ago. Yeah, it was all by fax before that. Something like that. Um, yeah, 2010 was the first year they had uh, online registration, wasn't it? Yes. Yep. Ironically, it was the G2 uh, G2 uh, theme at uh, BotCon 2010 in Orlando. Okay, homework assignment for the listeners. This is where you can sign up on the Geek Existence forums in the Transformer section. Uh Tell us what ideas you have for BotCon exclusives featuring the Bruticus mold or the uh, Wreckers Ooh, remold that are coming. I like that. What kind of, what kind of combiner Wreckers. concept? Well, they're already getting a Wreckers combiner. That's what I'm saying. Using these no. molds, recolor. Rotor Storm. The, the oh, joke Rotor is Rotor Storm. Okay, well, let's let the listeners come up with ideas, post them in the thread. It'll be fun. Yeah, and the and the coolest idea is we'll we'll uh, mention them here on the forums or on the uh, on the podcast, and uh, and we'll discuss them. Uh, it'd be kind of interesting to see what people will come up with on there. Um, 
the next thing we want to talk about, let's kind of combine a couple things. Uh, BBTS, uh, you know, everybody knows, uh, I know we talked a few episodes back about them getting the Dark Energon exclusives uh, for uh, uh, for sale. Uh, the It has been announced that uh, November 30th for the Deluxes and uh, for the Voyagers, it will be December 28th. So if you want a Voyager uh, Dark Energon figure, um, it's not going to come uh, till after Christmas, sadly. And, uh, yeah, everybody's putting up their brutic eye. They're just um, swindle. Yeah. Hey, I'm, guard, guard your wallet. Yeah. Um, also, uh, Transformers Prime coming to CD, CW Network for syndication. Uh, who wants to take that one and talk oh, about it? one quick back step. Guard Convoy. Um, that's relevant. We were just talking about the club. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Stealing your wallet, your credit cards. He stole my wallet. Uh, I see okay, what you sorry. did there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now Swindle, does his uh, does his chest like peg in anywhere? Yeah, the uh, the little yes. black black things on the bumper. Yeah. The little black spiky things. They, there's a tab on his west, the, the, his waist they poke into. Yes. Okay. I'm Our trying to... way showing you. I'm trying to get get them to go. Oh, in you broke there. it. Yeah, I'm afraid I'm going to break it. It's, it's not, not the front part to stick down. There's like a little peg to extend the back. I can build a motor and point down. Solid. Well, while you guys are working on that, a fun fact about Brawl. You know how his turrets on this toy rotate? Mm-hmm. Depending on which direction you face them, will make them either war for Cybertron or fall of Cybertron because they actually rotated them and made them smaller in fall of Cybertron for the purposes of multiplayer customization. Oh, neat! Really? I wondered Fun what the facts. purpose of the twisting ability was in the transformation, because leaving them the I, right I, way up makes I no difference. I honestly don't think it's anything except your preference, and that made me so happy because I actually really prefer the war for Cybertron version. Which is where you can see the holes from the front up the back. So, it, is this the the way a Swindle is essentially supposed to look? Yes. Um, pretty much. You get that one okay. shoulder flap he's come down on his well, right left shoulder. It, it rotates. Uh, rotates yeah. up on me. Hmm. Yeah, it looks right to me. I'm you not know, really. Gonna... I'm not really impressed with him. I wish his oh, hand uh, looked a little more G1 Swindle. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Uh, the uh, Transformers Prime CW Network uh, syndication. Anybody want to talk about that? Any anything interesting? Yep. Transformers Prime finally hit enough episodes to go syndicated. That's pretty much it. Yeah, uh, I, 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 honestly, me personally, uh, it's available on DVD. Uh, you can already get season two. I mean, season two was available on DVD like like the week. Transformers Prime ended. Se uh, season two ended. Uh, I, I was I actually picked up season two like two weeks ago. You know, I still need uh, to get that. Yeah, so it, it, I really don't see the purpose of having season two. Or, I mean, or well, having, it's just now people who don't have the hub who've not been watching it can now watch it. It's more exposure to more people. Yeah, uh, kids who don't have the hub and have never even heard of the show will now also be like, hey, what's this Transformers show? So it's nothing but good as far as the brand goes because it's going to get yeah. more exposure. Because CW is on more cable. You know, more people have that on the cable. Or, um, or on broadcast. Yeah, I watch CW pretty much all day long. Yeah, the you know the only bad thing is it's in syndication, which means we get to watch old episodes. You know, I mean, for those of us like me who don't have the hub, but if I could watch new episodes on the CW as well, that would be great. But we'll have to download them. Watch hmm. them online. Don't be downloading. Don't be downloading. Well, I guess that means that uh, uh, the downloadable episodes that uh, we've got right now will be taken down shortly, I suppose. They're already in the process of being taken down. Yeah. Mm. And which is only right because they don't want to be a pirate. Yeah. And since right. I've downloaded them, I have every intention of buying the Blu-ray so that I'm not really committing a crime. I downloaded them, and I own the Blu-ray of Season 1, and I have the DVDs of Season 2. So 
There you go. I'm, I downloaded I'm, them and did not buy them. I'm a, a pirate. Yar. Yay, helicopter. Oh, he's, he's got a gun. Me he's... Right wait, wait, wait. Right he has a gun supposed to take out the front. Yeah, I know. I just, I'm, I'm not sticking them on just yet. No, no. The gun that pops out where the fist was. You open up the front of the helicopter on the opposite know. side from the fist, there's a gun. I oh, I see, said the blind man. Nose without having the aid the hand or the gun out, because mine are at such an angle that you can't do, have both yeah. there at the same time. I can't get, couldn't get mine to close either. I it that way. Hmm. Mine didn't, uh, didn't, like uh, Everybody, yeah. Duran just performed a miracle. Yay. I had no problem with it, yeah. But there it is. Yay. Um, okay, further news. Uh, alternative figures, new alternative figures. Uh, let me guess. Um, Guard Convoy, you want to talk about this? Uh, maybe, just maybe. I might even have physical examples to show about them. But recently, we got information about new alternative figures coming out. It's three molds. It's, it's a remold of the Convoy mold they did. I'm going to link, oh, there's no chat blanket too, so I can't link all it, but they are doing Optimus Prime or Convoy in red. They're doing Star Saber, which is the one I'm interested in, in blue with a brand new head sculpt and a new weapon that's a sword. And another one they're doing that we haven't seen little photographs of is a Fortress Maximus as a green version of the Optimus Prime. The interesting thing about these, they're fully remolds of the convoy mold, which I'm showing off on camera, and each one will come with a Microman quote-unquote race queen figure. So it's going to be a figure of this scale. I can show it off. It's, it's going to be one of more. No, it's going to be a full-on Microman. It's 19... It's, I think like 19... Millimeter sandwich or something, but it's just... It's coming with a full-scale Microman figure, so that's what's bumping up the price. So it's probably going to cost about 120 bucks, and I think I'm going to buy the Star Saber because I love this mold as Die Atlas. Yes, uh, Star Saber is, uh, does look pretty uh, nice. I have to admit that. Yeah, that's, the, that's the new GT a series, Star right? Saber figure. Yes. So it's the remolded bits. But it's nice we're getting a Star Saber toy, even if it is a remold of... Even if it's just a new head, it's still Star Saber. Ever since I got the, uh, the knockoff of the G1, uh, this isn't like the high-quality knockoff, it's cheap knockoff, but it's just like the exact same toy. I really want a G1 Star Saber uh -huh. now. Come on, Encore! Uh, I'm always wanting one. I'm hoping. There's been rumors, but nothing confirmed yet. I'm hoping. Got my fingers crossed. But I got, I got, I'm excited I got for that Star Saber. So do I. Yeah, that, that's how we got to tell the car. I've got to order two it. places. We got to. I've pre-ordered two places. Are you going to actually buy but two? I'm not going to keep both. No, I'm buying oh. one. It's just I have one on HLJ in case I can afford it in February. If I can't, I'm just going to cancel that one and get the one from Big Bad. It just I have it on order from no, Capture Gray. Gray. Capture Bray, lowest price online, except for maybe HLJ. I don't know what the price is. And it's local for HLJ us, so it's free shipping. Bucks. Okay, it's three, I think, was it 320 at uh, Capture Bray? I believe so. And we don't have to pay shipping because they're local. Yeah. We can just go pick it up. Yeah, the thing with me, I collect so much that I, I bet order from Japan, so I'm figuring I can pay, just group a bunch of stuff uh, together. I was going to say, you'll pay more than 20 bucks in shipping on that thing. Of course, but. I'm planning on getting some Super Robot Shigoken figures and all, so I figured I can just throw them together and buy it that way and have the shipping cost shared enough so it's not too much of a markup. And I can just get it all in one box. Now, Vortex uh, on here, does he kind of like uh, the the blades? Does Do you do anything special with the blades? You do it like this. You just collapse them together to make like one big long knife. Uh, I'm not sure I like that. Because the G1 Vortex, the uh, the blades were on the back. 
Uh, the blades, you just swing so, them to the side of the arm. Yeah, essentially like, like, this. Uh, like this, right? Yeah, like it's that. It's a weapon. Yeah. Yes. I hate that. I don't like that. And you can put his swords in his hands. And mine has a chip on his uh, eye visor. Nice. Uh-oh. Yeah. Now he has two eyes. No, it's it's on his left eye. It's an eye patch. Uh, he's a pirate now. now. he's a pirate. Yar. My Thundertron Yar. I ordered a month ago it still hasn't chipped. All right, uh, oh, Head fun. Robots, uh, third-party news. Uh, Head Robots has released, or is getting ready to, is it is it a future release, or is it a current release? It's an upcoming release. It's an exclusive. Okay, you want to tell us a little bit about, about it? Uh, yeah, it's a Skeletron. Hold on, let me pull up the new article real quick so I can get my facts straight. I'm trying to find it. Trying to find it, trying to find it. This is where we would only edit this part out of the podcast. Yeah. So it looked like I seamlessly had it ready to go. All right. Uh, yeah, it's an exclusive through high-end uh, Transformers. Um, I'll try to get the, the actual link to them for you here if it'll come up. Yeah, it's just highendtfs.com. Um, and what it is is it's the, the blood kit that they have released for the bludgeon mold, but it's done up in Skeletor colors. Uh, and it's for the Botcon Overlord slash Gigatron mold. Uh, and it's colored to match it, and with that toy being primarily blue, it looks like Skeletor. And the thing is, I had awesome. just I had just sold my Overlord like a week before they announced this on eBay <laughs> because I didn't really want it anymore. And then I see this, I'm like, crap, I wish I kept it. And now it'll cost me twice as much to buy it back if I decided to because this has driven up the demand for that toy now. But yeah, it's even the card art is uh, looks a lot like the uh, He-Man and Masters of the Universe logo, but it's head robots of the galaxies and it's Skeletron, Chrome Sword. It's it's basically just the blood kit, but in Skeletron colors. It's I must say to two hundred pieces, I think. Yes. I must say the blast off is the best in vehicle mode, in my opinion, because he looks like a a space space shuttle. Thingy. <laughs> anyway. You said thingy. Uh, yeah. All right, continue. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was just talking. Uh, I pretty much finished up. It's uh, $35 at highendtfs.com. Uh, if you have BotCon Overlord um, slash Gigatron and you like Masters of the Universe, and this is a really cool crossover idea, uh, I would say hurry over there and grab them because they're only 200 made. Yeah, I'm whenever until you said there's only 200 of them made, I thought you know this is a really bad idea uh, as a, ma a mass release because one it's a upgrade set for a botcon exclusive which is one very pricey and two not very plentiful and uh, also how many people love He-Man enough to upgrade a transformer to look like a He-Man character. Uh, yeah, I, I see less than, I less, I'd say maybe 200 people at most that would actually want that thing. Well, I mean, well, I think you would want it if you had that toy to put it on. Because you yeah, like He-Man. I used to, yeah. I mean, I, uh-oh, I think I just broke it. Uh-oh. Oh, I didn't. Okay. Now, when it comes That's to that one release, a lot of people are interested into it just to say a big, you know, F you to BotCon. That's the main reason I want it. Because I like Skeletor enough. I like He-Man. I've got the Masters of the Universe classic Skeletor. But if I still, if I managed to get to keep that figure when I got it at BotCon, I would be buying this add-on set for it because that is not Overlord one bit. It works better as Skeletor. Yeah, I I don't get a a very big Overlord. Uh, I mean the head, the head sculpt is decent. I have to give it that. But beyond that, I, that toy does not scream Overlord. Now, if there was a jet that came with it, it hence would be, why I sold it. It you know it was too skeletal. It wasn't a good Overlord, and that that's why I sold the toy. And then like I said, this came out, and I was like kicking myself in the rear end. Why? No. Like, why couldn't that person not get by then? No. 
All right. Um, Creon no. micro. <laughs> The Creon microchangers, the new uh, the new wave has been spotted in Singapore. Uh, anybody want to talk about that? What what's your thoughts on that? It's more awesome Creo stuff. I, I I love Creo. I love everything about Creo, and I enjoy it because I love building them, and it's fun transformer little minifigures and. I have all the first wave of the micro changers. They're very fun. I like them better than I thought I would. So I'm excited for these new ones, and I'm glad that it's easy to tell what's what in each bag, because it's like the preview wave. You can just get numbers 40 to 51, and you'll have the whole set. So I'm excited for them to come out, and I'm ready for them. Uh, and thank Galvatron, did you? What do you think about them? Um, I'm look. I don't know if I'm going to buy them all. I picked up that entire first preview wave, um, just because I thought the Creons were the best part of, of Creo. Um, at the same time, I don't know if I want to go full bore and get everything. I am really interested in the combiners that they're coming out with. Uh, but the combiners each only have five members, but we know the, the traditional combiner teams all had six or five. So the fifth members of each are in these individual packs that have been that come out. So I'm going to for sure pick those up, like the extra Aerial Bot and uh, Predacon. And there should be two more Constructicons, but I've only seen one. So, yeah, I'm going to try to just well, complete those combiner teams for sure. Okay, is that Blast Off? Is that, is that accurate? Is that yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, yes, uh, so, far, so far Blast Off is my favorite. I really, I'm really digging that. Okay. Um, the Creon micro changers. Uh, what is the breakdown of those uh, of that of that list? Uh, let me pull up the list real quick. I know one's Bludgeon. That's the one I'm really excited about. That's the main one I know. Bludgeon. I know there's a Warpath, a Blast Off. Uh, see, where's the list? I got it here. So there's a Singe, who is Turbo Master Scorch, Inferno, Springer, Warpath, Quick Slinger, who is Slingshot. Rampage, Insecticon, Blast Off, Hook, Dirge, Arachnid, and Bludgeon. Which obviously I would need to uh, Rampage, Quick Slinger, Blast Off, and Decepticon Hook. The Hook looks fantastic. I love it. That that head piece they designed for the Constructicon there, it, it looks fantastic. And Warpath has a little cannon on his chest. That's awesome. Let's, now I'm going to transform diet. Let's see, make sure nothing's broken. And the let's only thing hope I don't, I don't like this about, one like I did the last one. The only thing I don't like about Warpath is that he has what looks to be like an iron hide helmet over a face with a mouth. And Warpath isn't because of a mouth. I, you know the, the first wave of, uh, of the Creon Microchangers? I actually have one, two, three... I have like two or three sets here that I've opened, but I have not even put together yet. I, I don't know. I just was underwhelmed by them. I enjoyed am, am I the only one that felt that way? Yeah, that's why I'm not going to go full bore and get everything. I, mean, I liked them, but not as much as I thought I was going to. Me, I liked them better, so I'm full blown going to buy them all. But I want everything, Creo, because I'm nuts. You like, I like them a lot. You like so. nuts. Yes. Sometimes he feels oh like a nut. Sometimes he don't. Hmm. Good, I didn't break it. This toy scares me to transform, but it's so cool. Okay, now I take it that's Onslaught, right? Yes, pretty much. Okay. Yes, that would be his name. No, I mean, is, that, is, that, is he transformed correctly, I guess? Uh, his head, the little head flap, the you know, head clips into place, goes back just a little bit more. Uh, unless unless you already snapped, I'm unless you already snapped it into place. It, it didn't seem snapped I, I into place. No, it did. Okay, then it may be all the way up there. It looked a little low on the on the image there. But don't break it. I mean, yeah, you, I already, you already clip. You already clip. It, but it was. I know it was. It was. It was scary as far as how hard you had to push on it and get it to clip that first time. I'm not. Yeah. Because before I was swinging yeah, it up, it wasn't it clicking play. in. 
I'm not, like, I'm not going to force it too much there. Yeah, mine wasn't clipping into place at first. It was just folding up, but he kind of looked like he was looking down a little. And then one day I got brave with it, and it was a little scary, but it went click. It finally clicked in, and then it, now it clips back forth easy. Hmm. Yeah, I'm... Yeah, I'm not going to mess with him that much more. Okay, yeah. Out of all those, I think uh, Blast Off's my favorite. Hmm. Okay, uh, the Creon Microchangers, they're out in Singapore, which generally would mean that uh, we'll probably see here uh, see them here in the States within the next month. Uh, so uh, if you're into those, you can kind of look for those uh, here very shortly. Um. I believe that is it we have for all the news. Is there anything else anybody else have, has been thinking about? Let me look real quick. I know natsume has been kind of quiet, but she's been uh, been awful busy too. So, um, she's working yeah, it on takes talk. me a little while to yeah. unmute my microphone, so I don't tend to get in there before we start moving on. Well, I mean, if, you, uh, if you have any any comments on anything, I mean, I don't mean to cut you off. But I'm not trying to be. I'm not trying to be rude. Really, I'm not. I no, like Creo confused. micro changers. Yeah, I'm, I'm just broke, and dude. I can't even afford those little one dollar things. <laughs> Actually, they're three dollars, aren't they? Trying to figure out how to yeah, clip clip this know, gun on the, a lot cheaper than everything on else. the back of uh, Onslaught here, all a G1 style. All a G1 that was style. Think, originally I think it will. It can. Yeah, it would be nice if it could, though. Well, what are you trying to do? Trying to put Onslaught's gun on his back like it is in Rudicus mode, but it won't work. Well, in, in Generation 1, that's the way Onslaught was, too. He had that cannon on his back. And I don't like the fact that oh, he's I got this. Oh, I can't do it in that mode. I can only do it in the the Bruticus mode. I think uh, something gets in the way, yeah. Oh, there's a screw hole okay, in the back of Bruticus' this. head. Here comes a scary transformation. Try not to break this auto more. Oh God, I broke it last time. Hmm. Well, um, I guess I'll just quit. Messing with this and trying to figure out what the yeah I don't I, I don't like his arms on on slot yeah, it's kind of kind of derpy kind of derpy victory derpy 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 um, everybody was playing with I mean, toys in this episode that's a good oh well, that's 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 what this this show is about you know I mean kind of giving our thoughts as we go along and uh, and everything else uh, I'm playing with G1 Swoop that's what I've been playing with. I've just finished transforming Diatlas. And your thoughts? Good, so. You want to uh, well, talk I've had about this... it in a little bit? Yeah, sure, why not? I've had this toy before, but I broke the Automorph on it, so I had to get a replacement from Big Bad. But it's still a fantastic figure. It's why I want Di uh, Star Saber, because I love this mold. It's chunky, hefty, it's a fantastic toy, and... Everyone should go buy one because it's on sale. I think still at Big Bad for forty-five bucks. So go buy one; it's worth it. Just don't break the automorph like I did, and you'll be good. Or buy Star Saber. I don't know. Them. I, I Micromancer. I, I girl. People talking about those toys being good, but after paying that same price for Vinyl Techs back in the day and those being so much larger, I just I can't part with the money for those. I, I feel like I'm getting ripped off. It's just too little well, toy for the money. If they were like thirty five instead of fifty five, it it would be more likely to happen, but even then that's kinda of pushing it. It's pretty much this I see Alternity as um, Takara testing the market for something like Masterpiece Lambor. I figure that size and that quality. And so far it seems everyone's loving Lambor. I want it. But I yeah. Buy it it oh, that hard. was something else I didn't I didn't put down that I got in my off my wallet. I got Masterpiece Lambor. I talked about that last week, so no. <laughs> that toy's freaking awesome. Yes. Love it. I want to have its babies. If that were even possible. Oh my. Um, that's a bit strange. <laughs> um. Okay, I don't love it that. Well, yeah. Well, 
Well, uh, maybe you can find a hole small enough. No, no, not possible. Uh, one thing that we also didn't talk about, uh, the aligned sideswipe concept on uh, Emilio, uh, Emiliano Santa Lucia's blog. Uh, any quick thoughts on that? Chicken legs. Yes, I can talk about this one. Okay, and that's me. Let's, let's hear your thoughts on it. Um, me being one of those big fans of the Bayverse, and a lot of people I know not liking the Bayverse, um, I know some people were just happy, number one, that he was red. And I have to agree, he looks really good. And he's a Lamborghini. Like the, yes, I really love the combination of styles in this that uh, included the movie verse. Uh, I, I'm not particularly fond of the head, but I really love the body. Trying to look at it is essentially I, I what, the same thing we got for Sideswipe uh, for uh, for uh, Dark of the Moon, with the exception that he's red and turns into a Lambo. Well, he's got the hood chest. Yeah, Sideswipe had like the rear of the car as his chest. Oh, that's true. And it was like horizontal instead of vertical. Hmm. It's it's a meshing of the two designs. It's a very classic. Bayverse crossover design. I mean, yeah, I like it. The only, the only when I said chicken legs, that's the only critique I have. With it. I don't like the chicken legs, but aside from that, I think it looks beautiful. Yeah, it's uh, it has its uh, aesthetic uh, charm to it. Uh, I, I'm like I said, I'm just really happy that it turned into a Lamborghini, uh, being that I, I'm a big fan of Lamborghinis myself too. Um, it seems like there is something that we're missing, and I can't think. Hmm. Well, I guess we can talk about it next week if we uh, if we come up with it. Uh, Gundam style prime was that it? Yeah, that's you know, not really stupid? news. <laughs> I mean, Gundam style is kind of kind of beat, being beat over the head right now, and uh, um, essentially. What we're talking about is that there's an official UK commercial that used the Gangnam style music with uh, some Transformers Prime clips. That was, uh, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't anything special in my opinion. It was just funny because of the fact that they actually did it. Yeah. Um. Well, that being said, has anybody else got anything else to uh, finish off the uh, podcast? Any Me other? Swoop. No, see nothing. Last thoughts? Uh, not me. Uh, she doesn't have her mic on anymore. <laughs> um, well, weren't uh, some people getting their hands on the generations, the star scream, the uh, the repaints, all that other sort of stuff? Yeah, some people are, like the Ultra Magnus, the Firefly, the really? Insecticon. Really? I didn't think yeah, there was a gallery be out until next year. Uh, there's a gallery on TFW for the Ultra Magnum from Soul Fury. Hmm. Oh, he, so Soul Fury's getting... in Australia, though, isn't he? No, he's in the UK. No, UK. Oh, the UK. Okay. Uh, there hasn't been any U.S. sightings yet, but those toys okay, are showing up in about. other markets. I was thinking if that's the case, then Wave 2 you know, with Bruticus is going to come and go very quickly. Or is he in that wave as well? I don't know. I haven't even seen that wave. Yeah, I haven't either. I mean, I ordered them online, but for people who haven't and may want to find them in the stores, it'd be kind of bad news that they've already moved away free. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't even seen Way 4 print. I give up distribution. <laughs> Knockout's rare here. If you can, if you, there's an Aldi store in your area, that's where they've been turning up. Uh, there isn't. You know, a far I'm south looking at the, uh, at the gallery right now. Uh, that Ultra Magnus is pretty awesome. Actually. I want that toy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it actually works better Batman as Ultra Magnus Batman. than it does as Prime. Yep. Hmm. Well, uh, I believe that'll wrap us up this week for episode number fifty-one of Transformers for your listening pleasure. Uh, once again, check us out on geekexistence.com/forums. Uh, we're also on Twitter uh, at geekexistence and on facebook.com slash geek existence uh, check us out like us on uh, on there and follow us on twitter 
Uh, we'd love to hear from you. If you have any uh, listener questions or comments about the show, please let us know uh, on any of those uh, venues. Uh, we would love to hear from you. Uh, I am Weird Wolf, along with Natsume Ryu, <laughs> who is waving by, uh, and uh, Insane Galvatron. Goodbye, everybody. And off-camera, Guard Convoy. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Sorry, sorry, it took me a while. Thank you for listening to this episode of TFYLP. We'll see you next time. <laughs>